so I just got yelled at. <laughs> hey vlog. Vlogging on your phone is just so ghetto. Let me just give you guys an update. Although you can't. <laughs> I just feel like there's people paying attention. Can you put something behind You're it? You're talking too quiet. <laughs> it's really the blender in the back. Yeah. So we're in Austin, Texas right now. It is Thursday. We've been here since Sunday and I said I was gonna vlog the week and something about this vlogging on your phone, I can't do. So this is gonna be a mini vlog and then afterwards we're gonna have a little debrief about my whole experience. Now yeah, we can peek today. I could throw up. <laughs> I got North Italia for lunch. Yeah. Maybe I'll vlog the rest of my day today so it helps me, you know, not just sit here and think about running. For the rest of the day, why do I sound like a little kid? For the rest of the day, <laughs> for the rest of the day, we're gonna go back to the hotel. We're gonna get treatment. Um, we're gonna chill. We have Bible study that we're gonna do, some of us. Um, get ready. Go run for our lives. Need your hope. Okay, I want to do a get ready. Wait. With me. Okay, you want to do a what? I want to do a get ready with me today. Okay. So, um, if I want to like, like speed up the video, like, like you know, I'm gonna be braiding and stuff. Mhm. Mm they don't want us to do that, right? So yeah. how do I do like the little? Um, you would like click it, and basically there's a button where you could speed it up. You if, are you doing it right on TikTok though? Yes. Okay, then on TikTok it's a little bit different. I'm gonna be an influencer. As you should. And don't act all quiet and try and be like, hi guys. <laughs> so, when you're on TikTok, are you paying attention? Yep. So, I recommend, yeah, doing three minutes. I have a 10 minute option. Why? I don't know. Are you special? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, this is the normal one, right? Okay. This is sped up, but it okay. moves like really slow, basically. What if I just come to your room and do it? Okay. <laughs> I see you posting TikToks, getting one hate comment and deleting. <laughs> Let me talk. Okay, so you're gonna be in my first one, and then I'm gonna use you for clout. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nobody goes over him. <laughs> the chicken's good. Yeah, all of good. It's just all this green color. It's a nice though. It at least looks healthy. Exactly, that's the problem. Oh. I started pouring. And apparently the decathlon has a lightning delay right now, so fingers crossed that all this goes away by the time it's happy. This is why I don't, because I'll end up just talking to myself for nine years and everyone looks at me like I'm a crazy woman. Mom's over here playing around with social media. I just can't take myself seriously like that. Get ready with me to run second leg on the UJ's. School record holding four by one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use that. Okay. <laughs> we're not funny. I think we're funny. I think we're hilarious. <laughs> Body check. <laughs> Gotta test it out. Let's hope I, I don't. Let's hope I don't rip my hip flexor in half. Today. Yeah, Autumn. Um, why would you say that? Yeah, let's not say that, but Autumn does have a tear in her hip flexor, so if she goes out there looking a little crazy, she's yeah. getting up. Oh. <laughs> Get ready with me for NCAAs. <laughs> I'm louder, more confident. Like, what's up, guys? You took my spot. I want to put my phone there. Get Here. ready <laughs> That is not going to work. <laughs> this is why my camera breaks, because this is a type of... This is literally what I was trying to set my phone on. <laughs> Yeah. 
And heat number two. Cy Russell in lane five. Townsend of Houston in lane six. That's overhaul of Vanderbilt. Qualifier two years ago, running well in lane eight. Masai Russell, she's been fourth each of the last two years at this meet. Mustard of Georgia in lane two. Let's go, Tom! Russell, the collegiate record holder in the 100 here. Russell, back to the key of honor. Yes, I did. I <laughs> no, I'll literally show you the video where I move the camera to the door because I'm like, hmm, I just feel like they hear me talking to myself and they're going to come over here. Autumn's room right now because I don't have a bathtub. But yeah, I've been watching the meet with Autumn and Brandy. I feel like I cannot vlog properly on my phone. And I'm going to say that a million times in this video, but I'm so glad that I'm giving you guys something. Ah. <laughs> Camera works again. Guys, hold on. Just gonna say that it's Sunday. We just got back from Nationals today, and I came home and got packages. And my camera was one of them. So as sad as I am that I wish I freaking broke it a week sooner, so I could have sent it in, and then I got back a week sooner. I have it now, and I recorded on my phone a little bit. So we're gonna put it all together, and I will edit the heck out of this video, so you guys have a good time. I just woke up from like a three hour nap and I'm just so proud of myself because I was not tired and I was like, no, you need to go to sleep. And I just closed my eyes and literally passed out. And I'm feeling so good right now. And who cares about sleep schedules anymore? If I don't go to bed until 2 a.m. because I'm not on the song with trucks. I'm just so freaking happy to have a camera again. You have no idea. But right now it is currently 8.30 and it's my teammate's birthday, Brandy. She is our third leg on our 4x4. 
So we're all gonna go to the movies at 10. All of us, as in the four of us girls, or the five of us girls. Yeah, there's five of us. Me, Brandy, Aaliyah, Haley, and Kayla. We're gonna go see the boogeyman and I'm gonna go get some chicken strips because I can eat whatever I want for the next month. And honestly, I'm on ELC right now because I have to do schoolwork tomorrow and it's already like annoying me. It's really not like stressing me out because the classes are asynchronous. They have due dates, but like I can kind of keep up with it on my own. But I just hate when there's like new applications and stuff that we have to download. Like we're using like Microsoft Teams. I don't know what that is and teachers just talk about it so like openly like as if everyone knows what stuff is i feel like next week is really gonna be like a maintenance week for me i'm in no rush to go home honestly i don't really know my plans the worst thing is getting my sunscreen in my eyes and i i didn't put sunscreen on it's like mixed into my moisturizer and I, if i get it in my eyes talk about nationals because that was a freaking experience i'm like just so grateful that i even got to experience nationals but in the back of my head like i was talking to my therapist i was like i feel like i don't know you know people have kind of like watched me come up this year a little bit and like accomplish things and i was like people are gonna just think that i'm just so happy that i made the national team like ranked freaking 32nd in the ncaa and i somehow you know made the team by luck and i'm just happy to be there and i was like no i want to make the final i want to do good i want to do all of this nobody probably is thinking that everyone knows that you know you're working hard and you know you have more to give like i don't know why i'm always want to prove people wrong but i guess you know that's motivating right so i got 12 i had a huge pr and I honestly think I could have ran even faster. I was at a lane two, which I never complained about lanes or anything. And I'd much rather have lane two than like lane nine, only in this setting, simply because like I knew these girls were fast. I was literally supposed to lose my heat. Let me just back it up even further. There was only two girls who ran 57. The rest of the PRs were 56, they were 54. I was 23rd out of 24 girls if you like broke down our prs and like looked at the actual list like by prs the 24 the 24 girls that were at nationals i was 23rd so i don't know where i sit now on the list now that i ran 56 6 this was about kind of getting back to where i was and i got even further than i was in high school like oh my god get out of my face like i split 51 and i ran 56 and then indoors is indoors. I don't even care. Yeah, I feel like that's huge for me. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just like really happy with this year and it like frustrates me because like when I watched the race, I was literally winning after hurdle seven. Even hurdle eight. I jumped over hurdle eight first. Like I was in the lead. It's just the fact that like I was with them and I wish like I just had the juice to stay with them. I need to jump two steps ahead. I was only ready to jump one step ahead, right? And then also our four by four, bro, we were not supposed to make the final. People who were projected to, we were not one of them. And we weren't really even close to being one of them, but we just popped off. And honestly, like when I was walking in to prelims, I saw some people in my heat and I was like, they're not running their A team. And it low key like made me, it low key kind of like infuriated me because I was like, oh, you think you can play with us right now? You think you can just run your little B team and get through, which, you know, some people can do that. Other schools, when we're only like a second behind you, like, why would you risk doing that? We don't have a B team to pull together. We, this is our freaking like third alternate, but you know, we were, we were ninth going in. So the fact that we got ninth is not a surprise. We ran like our second or third fastest time ever. I split bad but i don't know i f i feel like it was just kind of discouraging being in the back and as much as i wanted to like obviously catch up to somebody and i was like go get a trophy go get a trophy go get a trophy i'm a 51 second splitter i'm not catching a 50 second splitter or a 51 second splitter do you know what i mean like i would have to have probably ran 49 for us to get a trophy we could have ran like 328 and still got ninth so i was low-key like dang i wish somebody just got dq'd and i was like don't say that like oh my god that is so bad imagine how that team would feel 
so you can get your little trophy that you don't really deserve. <laughs> but that's just like genuine thoughts that went through my head because I don't know I want to be the first team all-american so bad like that's a goal But like see I'm still happy that like I've accomplished all this and I still have things that you know I'm not 100% satisfied. I have things that I want to fulfill. I wanted to make the freaking I, I want to make the national final on my own next year like in the 400 hurdles um, So yeah, definitely Not perfect, but a lot of progress and I'm like so grateful for this year that's all that i can really say so what was it friday when we had our team meeting all my teammates coach carol all my coaches literally just made me feel so special and so proud of what i did and i'm like oh, i gotta run even faster i was freaking in the lead I, but like there's so many things that you can do and it's like just be happy with you know progress and it was a big jump like so yeah that's my nationals debrief and i hope you guys kind of enjoy the vlog uh i'll put videos of me running. I, I'm sure I'm editing this 10 out of 10. I'm gonna go get my food and then I'm gonna go to the movies with my friends and then I'll be back here probably by like midnight. Thank you all so much for watching. I can't wait to give you a life update and plan some trips in my next videos. I'm not gonna tell you where yet, but I just know the content is coming. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.